So, it is Mother's Day again. And I want to take the time to say Happy Mother's Day to all the wonderful mothers out there. And uh, it is a remarkable day. It's caused me to reflect on a lot of things about myself being a mother and also about my own mother. And this year actually was a very remarkable year for me because I got to go to Jamaica and I got to go to see where my mother was laid to rest 20 years ago. And so many things happened in the space of a week. It was surprising that, you know, this is the best day to share this story about that. So let me just tell you what happened. 20 years ago, my mom died. She had suffered from chronic renal failure for a while. She did dialysis twice a week. And uh, I basically took care of her until she passed away. So I'm actually going down the hill to the Brownstown Cemetery where my mom was laid to rest. Today actually is her 20th year death anniversary. I've never done this before, but I think it's remarkable that we're here now, April 1, 20 years later. So I'm gonna go. Honestly, I don't feel a little bit nervous because I don't like cemeteries or funerals for that matter. But I know she's here, you know, like all these graves just here. I think she's somewhere over in that corner. I don't even know where exactly I'm going because <laughs> the funeral was 20 years ago. I've never been back to see it or anything but I'll see if I can find it oh my gosh Sarah has found it mm -hmm. oh wow mom's grave is literally the most beautiful oh my it's goodness she oh, died yeah. April 1 2004 this is 20 years I feel like crying guys that's my mama Gina mama you gave life to me, turned your baby I kind of thought it was hers. Like I saw the flowers was into a lady. I wish she could have met you guys. I wish she could have seen me today. Oh, yeah, the woman that I've become. Samuel just asked me, why does my mom look as young as me? She was actually 45 years old when she died. And I'm going to be 45 in this year. So he's not wrong. I want to say... I love you, Grandma. I'm sorry that she died. Oh. I love Grandma, and I miss her even though I never met her. I would have wanted to see her. She would have loved all of you. She would have loved you so much. My mom had actually been diagnosed with chronic renal failure, and she had been on dialysis for seven years before she died. I cared for her all that time. In addition to that, I became a part of the Kidney Support Foundation of Jamaica. Someone donated $600 to the foundation, but they needed repairs. So I became one of the volunteers that would repair those dolls because I was a good seamstress back then. I was only about 19 or 20. It was a great excitement for me. All these dolls just, you know, wow. Anyway, I worked on the project and that was it. Forgot about it. Now fast forward. 2024, April 5, I'm meeting with the lady who had actually exhibited the dolls. And uh, she took us to dinner at Devon House. And when she turns up, she brought out this envelope. And you can see that it's old, right? She handed it to me. I was like, what are these? And I open it up. And inside were photos from this exhibition I had been a part of. 25 years ago and I started to look at the photos of all the different types of dolls and then all of a sudden bam there was a photo of my mom hit me like a brick and my heart was just so overwhelmed and I kept looking and there was I in a frame with my mother so my heart can't take this one this is actually me and my mom Angela is in the background yes that's me and my mother Oh, I'm getting goose pimples. Oh my gosh. 
That's a very real photo. I don't have a lot of photos with me and my mom in them. I don't have many photos of my mother and me in the same frame. And here we were. Me at around 19 years old and my mom uh, right there. My heart was just so overwhelmed. I started to cry. I was in the middle of Devon House and my eyes were tearing up. And my friend was like, oh my gosh, Ernette, she said. I didn't even know that was your mother. And I was just so thankful too. And I thought it was very remarkable that after 20 years, I finally decided to go to the cemetery. And that is the year of all the years I got this envelope with all those photos. I really loved my mom. I did everything I could just to care for her while she was alive, when she was sick. And I really miss her until today. And every Mother's Day, my heart breaks because she's not around. But this year, it was a little bit different. I have these photos I can look back at in addition to what I had before. And now my children also know where she was laid and... Yeah, but I say to everybody who still has a mom, just cherish your mother. Make sure she knows how much you love her because that day will come when you have to say goodbye and it's not going to be fun. So to all the mothers, let's just show all of our love. Just thank them for bringing us here, making us who we are. And aside from my sad story, I'll say again, Happy Mother's Day to all of you mothers. Bye-bye. Goodbye's the saddest word I ever heard. Goodbye's the last time that I drew you near. One day you said that word and I did cry. Yes, you broke my heart when you said goodbye. Till we meet again, until then, goodbye.